second portion of our program for today. And um, this, what we're getting ready to do right now was actually supposed to happen uh, kind of three-ish or so. But since the um, people that were supposed to participate in this event aren't here, I will do it in their stead. clipboard for a minute. Okay, hold it for you. If you can. No, I know. Okay, so recognizing Pearl Williams. The Council of the City of Philadelphia is pleased to pr and proud to join with the Producers Guild on the occasion of the High Gratitude Concert in recognizing Pearl Williams for her many contributions to Philadelphia's vibrant jazz community and for her legacy as one of Philadelphia's premier jazz vocalists. Whereas Pearl Williams is a native Philadelphian born into a musically talented family whose parents insisted on her studying classical piano. While she liked classical piano, she dreamed from a young age of being an accomplished jazz vocalist. And whereas in secondary and high school, Pearl sang with the Paul Whitman singers in addition to her school's a cappella choir. And while she was still in high school, she became the vocalist for the jazz group formed by the renowned pianist McCoy Tyner, her neighbor and friend, beginning a musical career that would span the next six decades. And whereas, Pearl's melodious contralto has a most unique phrasing style, which she's been described as a God, as she is described as a God-given gift, summoned through her instinctive feeling for rhythm and lyrics rather than formal training and making her a true vocal stylist rather than just a singer of songs. And whereas Pearl has performed with a number of large jazz bands and ensembles, both sacred and secular, including the Count Basie Orchestra, Benny Fields Orchestra, the Philadelphia Singing City Choir, and whereas Pearl <laughs> has also worked at, with acclaimed musicians and groups, including the Jazz East Trio with Jimmy Gaskins, Dennis Fortune Trio, Tony Williams Quartet, Shirley Scott, Aaron Graves, Trudy Piss, Butch Ballard, Philly Joe Jones, Jimmy Merritt, Charlie Rice, Jimmy Oliver, Jimmy McGriff, Jim Holton, Richard Groove Holmes, Bobby Durham, and Sid Simmons, and many, many more. And whereas Pearl has performed on some of the most storied stages in the history of jazz, including the Mike Douglas Show, the Black Book on WFIL TV, now known as 6ABC, the Valley Forge Music Fair with Count Basie, the Cape May Jazz Festival, Preludes in New York City, Ronnie Scott's in London, and Gracie's Little Belmont and Club Harlem in Atlantic City, as well as Philadelphia clubs like Emerson's, Johnny Drew's, Rendezvous, Dreamland, the Cotton Club, the Clef Club, and the Rose Jazz Club. And whereas Pearl has previously been, been honored by the city of Philadelphia for her many years of musical contributions to the city, and in 2016, she was a recipient of the Clef Club's People's Choice Jazz Award in the Favorite Vocalist category. Therefore, by virtue of this citation, the C Council of the City of Philadelphia does hereby recognize Pearl Williams for her many contributions to Philadelphia's vibrant jazz community and for her legacy as one of Philadelphia's premier jazz vocalists. We extend the sincere respect and admiration of this legislative body and we thank you all for all you have given us. Congratulations. And now, recognizing Miss Justine Keys. 
The Council of the City of Philadelphia is pleased and proud to join with the Producers Guild on the occasion of the High Gratitude Concert in recognizing Justine Keys for her many contributions to Philadelphia's vibrant jazz community and for her legacy as one of Philadelphia's premier jazz vocalists. Whereas Justine Keys, also known as Miss Justine, is one of Philadelphia's jazz gems who, beginning in the early 1980s, enthralled audiences at clubs and private venues across the area with the late pianist and longtime collaborator, Gerald Price. And whereas Miss Justine, who lists Sarah Vaughan and Carmen McRae among her early influences, has been described as the singer's singer for her ability to interpret and convey stories within the melodies. And within, I'm sorry, whereas, Having grown up in the 1940s and 50s in a musical meeting house in North Philadelphia, where, which had among its visitors John Coltrane, Sonny Rollins, McCoy Tyner, it is perhaps no surprise that Justine would become a sophisticated and prolific singer sought out often by other artists and collab for collaboration. Whereas Miss Justine has long understood that ironically in order to create uh, uh, um, fertile music ground for the individual self-expression, thank you, that jazz is known for. Artists must work as a team and listen to one another. And when that perfect fit is achieved, everyone gets to shine. And whereas Miss Justine calls this her hidden, her golden rule, an idea that was reinforced by the late Gerald Price, her longtime accompanist, and which is the core principle to which she attributes her decades long success as a jazz vocalist. Therefore, by virtue of this citation, the City Council, the Council of the City of Philadelphia does hereby recognize Justine Keys for her many contributions to Philadelphia's vibrant jazz community and for her legacy as one of Philadelphia's premier jazz vocalists. We extend the sincere respect and admiration of this legislative body, and we thank you for all you have given us. Congratulations. Both very, very welcome. It's such a pleasure to see the beautiful smiles on your face today. Thank you so much.